Hey guys, T2 out here, I'm back again, Titan Freighter's channel. Today we're doing another coffee review. I got my coworker Kat with me, and we're gonna be reviewing Invader Coffee. So I wanted to have a secondary opinion, so that's why I invited Kat to do this video. Instead of just me and me saying, oh, this is great coffee, and y'all not believing me, at least I have a second opinion, whether it's good or bad. So Invader Coffee was invented in 2016. The owner spent some time in Italy kind of understanding how they roast and they brew their coffee. It is 100% fair trade, 100% organic. There is a 100% money back guarantee on this product, but the big claim to fame is that it is 100% air roasted. Only 1% <laughs> only 1 of coffee in the world is air roasted. Um, supposedly air roasting takes out the bitterness, takes out the acidity. So what myself and Kat are gonna do is we're gonna try it in two different ways. We've got the Sea to Summit X Brew that we're gonna do a pour over system on, as well as the Stanley French Press. We all know that French pressing kind of helps, takes out the acidity of coffee, but with the pour over system, we're gonna see if it even has acidity to begin with. So this is their normal first batch basic cup of coffee or, or bag of coffee. It's supposed to have a medium body taste and it's supposed to taste of dark chocolate, cacao, butter, and orange with dashes of caramel. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, mm. what little, little drizzle those. of caramel. <laughs> We're gonna make sure them checks are getting marked. <laughs> you drink a lot of coffee. No. <laughs> well, yeah. I do, so, every day if I can. A couple of cups. Coffee and hate keeps her keeps her happy. Hate, discontent, a little bit of java. <laughs> so she's the coffee expert on this video. So again, let's pull up some water and uh, let's get it going. Cut. Mm -hmm, yeah, look at them bubbles. Oh, mm. <laughs> two times two methods of brewing coffee, of which I've never done before. Now this is just we're not making a full batch here. It's gonna be just enough to kind of wet the whistle. And then that'll be enough to do our pour over. Mm. Hear that magic dripping mm. down into the cup. I'll fill her up. Nice. All right, so while we're waiting for the French press to do its thing, the X brew is finishing up. It's got a couple drops left. First off, it smells damn good. Mm. It, it, like, it is. It's like the best Folgers you can buy and then some. Out of the bag, even before you brew it, you can tell that it has a, a good smooth roasting process because nothing is strong. When it hits your nostrils, it's not like, oh God, yeah, that's coffee. Yeah. Ooh, it's down. It's, yeah, it smells like it's supposed to, but it, it's smooth. However, the scent can be smooth. It is. It it's is. got this nutty, rich aroma. A veteran owned company operated business they are located in Austin Texas so use that for what it is um, don't forget where we came from we hold our standards as high as we do while serving the country again veteran owned company stay heavily involved with the communities we came from and give back to those communities we set ourselves apart by providing the highest quality coffee starting with the very beans we use from all around the world. Each bag is thoroughly inspected. So they do go and inspect all of their beans before they put them in that air roasting drum so that you don't get any uh, moldy beans or bad coffee beans. So they are all individually inspected. So like we said, this X brew is not going to take out the acidity. So if it is acidic, we're gonna, we're gonna know. Looks good, smells good. Yeah, it's good, not too dark, not too light. Nutty. Yeah. And it was dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Is it orange? Orange with caramel drizzle. Orange with caramel drizzle. Okay, kind of, if I know that the orange is in there, if you told me, you're like, ah, okay, yeah, I can kind of taste it. No, dark chocolate, yes. Yeah. I can, I can taste the cacao. Yeah, that's good. I don't, there's not much acidity. It's very smooth. Mm-hmm. Even a pour over system. Pour over, yeah. You do kayaking, or you did. Cold morning, you wake up, and all you needed was some little lightweight system like this versus mm -hmm. a full, you know, probably 20 ounce thing like this. This is, uh, you'd this be would satisfied. be a top choice. Yeah. yeah. 
You don't need to dress it up with anything. This drink is great. It's we, good, a good way to wake up. We both had MRE freeze dried coffee. Tastes like crap. Instant coffee. Ate it. Ate it. Yeah. Ate it. <laughs> it's terrible. We have both had Folgers. Right? We drink Folgers every time we're working together. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Folgers is all across the board. okay. Like we said, we'd be satisfied waking up to this mm -hmm. in a simple system like this. Um, again, pour over like this is not going to do as good as your coffee pot at home. So, I don't know. I think uh, I, I, got mean, a, I got an old coffee pot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might taste better at home, but it still tastes good now. No kick to it whatsoever. Mm. There's no bitterness, no acidity, nope. no no real bite to it, and the flavors are there, but it's not it's not like a you know a caramel coffee. Macchiato. Yeah, like or like a toffee brew where you can open the bag and you smell that. Oh God, yeah, there's there's a lot of sugar in that. So cat dumps hers out. This one is still the pour over. So we, this is the X brew pour over system. We're gonna try the French press. We've already pressed it. A lot darker out there at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you always end up with a little bit of grain at the bottom. That smells incredible. So, we haven't measured anything today. Both of our opinions, the French press on this coffee makes it better. Mm. I, don't, I can't say that one is better or worse than the other. Just stronger. This. Yeah, I think and it, it boils down to how long it sat. It's yep. going to play a big part. Good Absolutely. taste, good flavor. Very good. But like I said, it does fine with the pour over system. I think it tastes fine. Mm -hmm. um, I can drink my coffee black. I can drink it with cream and sugar. I'm not picky. But if I had this in a cup, it would be straight black. Mm -hmm. There's no need for that cream and the sugar. Yep. There's no need for anything to, to offset that, that acidity. Better tasting in a French press, but if you're not wanting to carry that much extra weight, definitely still good in the X brew. I'm sure it'd be good in the Java drip. Again, veteran owned company. They do help out the communities and they do have a lot of different flavors. <laughs> I think by the time that this video posts, they're going to coming out with a bacon bourbon flavored coffee. So interesting. And if it's, <clears throat> If it's as good as this stuff is, then hey, I'm all for it. I might pick up another batch. Um, they've got a rum flavored coffee. They've got some espresso. I think it's worth it. And like I said, good. ten to fifteen dollars for a bag of coffee is what you're going to pay for a bag of Starbucks coffee, or yeah, for your special, your yeah, more high your, end, yeah, brews, anything that's not Maxwell House. Yeah. So <laughs> I think it's worth it. Um, Again, does good on the pour overs, does even better on the French press. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone, say hello to Kat. Might be the only video, or might, you know, she might be a new standard on the channel. We don't know. I don't know. Do you really want your channel to crash? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you might not want me to be on here. <laughs> but yeah. Kat, thanks for uh, having coffee with me. Thank you. And, Thank uh, you for having me. Uh, we'll see y'all after a while. <laughs> you too, Matt.